And we're once more seeing new home development in Baldwin County. One of the hot spots is the Spanish Fort area. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick is taking a closer look at the upswing in home sales. If you're in the market for a new home, there's no shortage in Baldwin County. Many are move-in ready and there are plenty of lots ready to build to spec. It's a trend the county hasn't seen since the recession hit several years ago. From uh, a year-to-year -year rollover, uh, June to June, you're seeing about a 25% increase in, in coastal home sales. And, and if you're looking at it from, from uh, May to June, June was up 7%. 7 so we're, see, we're seeing trend that's from new home sales uh, really on an upswing. Heiko Einfeld, executive director of the Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce, says the new home sales directly correlate with the upturn in the economy. He says developers are once again willing to put the cart before the horse, so to speak. When people are out there starting to develop again, that tells you that's a sign. And, and, and they don't do that without doing their homework and, and research. So I, I think when you see that, it's a pretty good indication that things are moving in a positive direction. An example of this new development we're seeing is this big subdivision going in off Highway 31 between Spanish Fort and Stapleton. This development alone consists of nearly 3,000 acres. How soon all of it will be developed is not known, but crews recently began clearing land and putting in roadbeds. It will be called Stonebridge. Einfield says the good news for the county is that they're seeing home buyers looking in all different price ranges. We are seeing a lot more families move in, and they're, they might be on, on a, a little bit different scale, and, but then you're also seeing some, some of the higher end homes going. So I, I, think, I think it's across the board. Reporting from Baldwin County, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. And right now, year-end projections have residential home sales up 30% over last year.